Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Are you tired of running out of space on your phone because of all those awesome photos and videos you take? Do you wish there was a way to automatically back them up to your QNAP NAS without lifting a finger? Well, you're in luck. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up QNAP's auto upload feature for Android phones. It's super easy, and it'll give you peace of mind knowing your precious memories are safe and sound. Let's dive in. First, open the QFile app on your phone. Okay, so we've got QFile open. Now, tap on the transfer button at the bottom of the screen. See all these cool options? We want auto upload, so tap the go button right below it. First things first, let's tell QFile where to find the photos and videos on your phone. Tap here to choose your source folder. You can select DCIM to grab everything your phone's camera took, all photos and videos to include media from other apps, or custom if you want to be really specific. I'm going with all photos and videos for this tutorial. Now it's connecting to your NAS. See? Here are the folders on your NAS. You can choose your home folder, the multimedia folder, or go manual to pick a specific spot. I'm going with multimedia. All right, now for the fun part, customizing your auto upload. You can choose how your uploads are organized. By default, it's by year and month, which is pretty handy but you can change it if you like. Next up, upload rules. Do you wanna upload everything on your phone or just the new stuff? You can set a date here and QFile will ignore anything older than that. Pretty neat, huh? Now, under general settings, you can decide if you want QFile to use your mobile data for uploads. Videos can be huge, so you might wanna use Wi-Fi only for those. And super important, make sure you enable Allow QFile Pro to run in the background. This keeps the uploads going even when you're not using the app. To make background uploading work its magic, we need to tweak your phone's battery settings. Tap Open System Settings, search for QFile Pro, and then make sure background usage is set to unrestricted. This prevents your phone from shutting down QFile to save power. Back in QFile, you can turn on system notifications so you'll know if any uploads fail. And check out these cool options for handling duplicate files. You can skip them or rename them automatically. You can even decide how to handle those HEIC image files. Upload JPEG, HEIC, or both. Finally, you can enable thumbnail generation. This makes it easier to browse your photos and videos after they're uploaded. Okay, once you've got everything set up the way you like it, hit save. QFile will now scan your phone for media and start uploading. You can check the progress under background task auto uploads. If this is your first time, there might be a lot to transfer, so you can use the Sleep and Transfer feature. This lets QFile keep working even when your phone's screen is off. Just make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and plugged into power. You can always turn off Sleep and Transfer and check the status in the background tasks. And that's it! You've successfully set up automatic photo and video uploads from your Android phone to your QNAP NAS. Now you can relax and enjoy capturing those memories without worrying about storage space. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more QNAP tips and tricks. See you in the next one.